Hello, I'm Andy Platt. How are you guys all doing on this fabulous Friday? Um, it doesn't even really feel like Friday because I'm not really doing anything different that I haven't already been doing for the last, I don't even know what day. Um, but I'm really excited to share a little bit more about sunscreen with you guys today. Um, thanks to Kayla for inviting me. Um, disclaimer, I'm not perfect at this and I am not um, an expert when it comes to sunscreen, but I can, I, I want to try to just share some of the things that I've learned um, throughout the four years um, and being more conscious about the sunscreen that I am buying for myself, but also for my family. Uh, women are typically the, the purchasing decision maker when it comes to our personal care products. So it's important for us to be educated and know kind of that the harsh realities of the sunscreen world and then to make better conscious decisions based on the information that we already have. So we all know that um, sunscreen is important. Um, I don't think anybody here is gonna fight me on that. Sunscreen is important. We need to protect ourselves. We want to find sunscreen that's effective, but it's also that's free of hazardous chemicals. So today I have um, a little list of topics and if you ever see me looking over here, I've got my PowerPoint in front of me because I wanted to make sure to hit everything. So I'll try not to do any reading of um, anything. But the four topics that I'm gonna talk about today is what is the difference between mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen? What ingredients should we avoid and why? Um, which also leads into is SPF that's higher better for us? So we'll come to that. Um, I am also going to talk to you, hey Kayla, about beauty counter sunscreen and also be able to provide you ways that you can go um, about choosing a safer sunscreen even if it isn't beauty counter. And then finally, what's that extra power punch for your skin that would be great to combine with daily use of sunscreen? So those are the four topics. So the first, um, did I? Did you know? So did you know this already? A person who wears, hey Laura, a person who wears um, sunscreen daily looks four and a half years younger than someone who just use, uses it occasionally. So um, that's a huge thing, four and a half years, um, four and a half years, I wanna look younger, so I need to be using sunscreen daily. It's not just when you go to the beach, it's not when you go to the pool, it's every single day. More, this is a stat that's like kind of, um, kind of concerning, is more people are diagnosed with skin cancer each year in the United States than all other cancers combined. So it's seriously an important thing that we need to be educated on and that we need to be using um, on a daily basis. So the first topic is mineral versus chemical. So a mineral sunscreen, is it basically sits on the surface of your face and it reflects the sun rays away from you. Okay, so that's the mineral sunscreen. That can also be called a physical sunscreen. So mineral sunscreen, physical sunscreen, same thing. Then we have chemical sunscreens. So chemical sunscreens are typically the conventional sunscreens that you think about. They are absorbed in our skin. So what we put on our skin is absorbed into our body. I think it's 80% of what's, what we put on our skin is absorbed in our body in 26 seconds or less. So that go, so basically what you're putting on your skin is equally important what you're putting in your, in your body. So it's important that the sunscreens that we choose, if it's a chemical sunscreen, um, that you wanna make sure you're avoiding certain um, ingredients in that. So that's the big, biggest difference between mineral and chemical. Mineral, it reflects the light, the rays away from you. Chemical is absorbed. So, um, absolutely. Yes, yes. Okay, so ingredients that you want to avoid when you're choosing your sunscreen. The biggest one is oxybenzoin, and I will make sure I send some graphics um, later, so don't feel like you have to be taking notes or anything. Oxybenzoin has already been, and it might even be benzene, I don't really even know, I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not perfect at this, but it's already been banned in Hawaii. It's also been banned in um, Key West. And 
one, it's not good for the coral, it's not good for the reefs, but it's also a hormone disruptor. Um, and so that's not good. And that's gonna be directly absorbed into your body. So you wanna avoid oxybenzone as, for sure. Vitamin A, sounds good, right? Vitamin A, I could use some vitamin A, but if you are prone to skin lesions and tumors, it actually can speed up the process of the development of those skin tumors and lesions. So it's important that you try to steer away from vitamin A if that's a cause of concern, especially if that's in your genetics. Um, so then the next one that you want to think about is that higher SPF is not always proven to be more effective. Um, and it also can provide more exposure to UV radiation, which is really not good. Um, so the reason why you have a little bit of this is one, poor balance. So higher sunscreens have far less protection against UVA and UVB rays. So it might help you with sunburns, but there's still damage going on in your skin, even if you don't get a sunburn. So it's not necessarily good. The other thing about higher SPF is consumer misuse. I know I've heard this, I've probably even said it before. Oh, well, I put on SPF 70, so I'm good. I'm gonna stay out in the sun for a, long, for a long time. Well, that's not good because you should be reapplying. You shouldn't be staying out in the sun too long. So it's the consumer misuse that is also a reason why higher SPF is not the way to go. This is the biggest one. So sun protection is only marginally better when you look at the different SPFs. So we're familiar with SPF 15, 30, 50, or 45, it's usually either one of those, or 100. So you think, oh, I'm getting SPF 100, I'm doubling, I'm making it twice as, or it's, it's twice as good for me in preventing, you know, you, and blocking the UVB rays. But with SPF 15, you've got, it blocks 94%. At SPF 30, it blocks 97%. SPF 50 only does 1% more, 98%, and SPF 100 blocks 99%. So there's between 30 and 100, there's only like one or two percent between what it blocks, and you're paying a heck of a lot more money buying those extra um, or those higher SPF. So kind of in my personal opinion, that's a big that's a big marketing game for you. So that's something to really consider. Um, the other ingredients that I want you to be cognizant about is fragrance. Fragrance, if you are going to eliminate anything, and I know Kayla does a great job educating you on all of this, but fragrance, if you wanna eliminate one thing out there and come clean, get rid of fragrance. There is absolutely nothing good about it. You think lavender fields in France when it says fragrance, it's not. It's like, um, formaldehyde releasers, it's disgusting stuff, and it's a loophole. So people can just put fragrance on the back of their ingredients, and you think, oh, nothing about it, and it's really, really can cause serious health problems. So if you're gonna eliminate one ingredient, definitely eliminate fragrance from any of your personal care products, but also your sunscreen. And then the last one I would tell you to look for is the parabens. Parabens, we've heard this, it's a buzzword, you don't want those in your products. It's also a hormone disruptor. It is also have been it has been found in 90%, I'm sorry, 99% of all breast cancer tissues. So it had basically it had traces of parabens. So there's not a ton of research, but honestly, if it if that just that stat alone is gonna make me never want to have a paraben in it. And there's four different um, parabens. I think there's methyl paraben, propyl paraben, there's two others, and I'm not really sure. Um, what those are off the top of my head. But parabens can be found in lots of things, deodorants, shampoos, cleansers, lotions, sunscreens, and a lot of, and a lot of other things. So those are kind of key ingredients to move. So now that I've kind of given you a little bit of the background information, now it's time for you to choose a safer sunscreen. So I'm gonna to talk to you about Beauty Counter Sunscreen, but I'm also gonna share at the very end on other types of sunscreens that can be, um, that you can choose from that feel good about. So Beauty Counter, we are a B 
corporation company so that means we put people profit and planet together um, our biggest motto is we want safer products but we want them to be high performance we don't think women should have to or families should have to um, compromise their safety for performance so that's the greatest thing about beauty counter um, think of us as Chanel meets Whole Foods so we've got the part of being um, safer but also really awesome high performance so when you're choosing a sunscreen it's important that you look for a broad spectrum and I will also put this in the link as well blot a broad spectrum sunscreen means that it protects you against the UVA aging rays the UVB burning rays and now a big big deal is blue light defense because we've got blue light everywhere a lot of it with her with our phones so it's going to protect you against those that's what a broad spectrum sunscreen I would also choose mineral something that reflects the Sun away from you as opposed to a chemical all right so counter Sun we have lots of different options this is counter Sun this is beauty counter um, counter Sun contains non nano zinc oxide and titanium dioxide that helps reflect so it's a mineral sunscreen we also use a key ingredient called California poppy that's grown in um, California because that's where um, we are located um, and that's a skin conditioning agent so not only are you putting sunscreen on to protect yourself but it's actually doing good for your skin as well and it's not harming yourself so that's a bonus um, with our sunscreens they are reef friendly so if you go to Hawaii or Key West they're appropriate there and they're not going to destroy the reef and the coral which is a huge concern right now they're water resistant to up to 40 minutes and some people think oh safer it doesn't work very well I put it on my kids and my kids and I we don't get sunburns at all very 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 little um, um, my kids haven't had a sunburn in ever sometimes I do because I'll forget to take care of myself which is not a good thing but it's really great so my question to you guys is do you like a mist do you like a lotion or do you like a stick now I like all three the mist is also it's gonna go on lighter and it's gonna be probably the easiest to absorb um, I would show you this one, but this one is um, a little bit old and it's not going to show you the good stuff. Um, so um, it's great. It's, all of ours are SPF 30. So um, I love the sunscreen stick. It's great for your face and it's also great for wiggly kid bodies. Um, I wouldn't be like lathering up my entire body with this little guy, um, but it's great to take in your bag at the pool or you're going to the park. It's just nice to always have in your car. Um, the, the biggest concern about some of these, um, uh, about um, mist is uh, most of them are powered by, they're an aerosol, and aerosols are a big no-no. They're not good for in, in, inhaling, but they're also just not good in general for your health. So ours is, um, ours is um, powered by air, which is really cool. Um, and then if you're just the traditional and you like the lotion, this is an option. This is one of Kayla's favorite. Um, I will tell you we have a couple awesome products. So this is actually a mist and it's tinted. And I wear the medium deep. Um, and honestly, it's like you've just been airbrushed. Um, it will rub a little bit off on kids swimsuits or if you're holding them I noticed that but for the most part it's pretty good but it like seriously makes you look like a Victoria's Secret model it's awesome I love it um, we have two different colors we have light medium and medium deep like I said I do medium deep and I'm not extremely um, tan so I think most people could go that way we also have the after Sun um, I don't after sun cooling gel so think of this as your aloe vera after afterwards to use so um, we have this um, right now we've got a Memorial Day special where you can choose this as one of your freebies so if you want more information on that just comment below um, I would just wanted to show you so I have old stuff here and as I'm looking at the ingredients of this like SPF obviously is a no-no this has um, parabens it has fragrance it's got EDTA it's got that vitamin A that I talked about um, then we always think okay kids hundred this is great marketing like 
who doesn't want to? Oh, 100% awesome. I want it, this for my kids. This doesn't have great things. It's got fragrance. It's got mineral oil. Um, those are the two big ones. The alcohol denae is not great because it's it's going to leave you really, really dry. So you wonder why your skin is, looks like it's thirsty after the sun. That's because of that alcohol. Um, so those were just a few things. We have for Beauty Counter a Never List. And I'm happy to send anyone in this group one, one of these if you want. Just give me, just a me private message me your address and I'll send this to you. Um, this is a great, um, we ban over 1,800 ingredients, um, which is compared to the U.S. only bans 30. Um, and so this is handy to take with you, keep it in your wallet, and shop when you're at the store. Um, and... So the last little caveat that I wanted to talk to you about is this is our brand new All Bright C Serum. So this C Serum, along with sunscreen daily, is gonna give you that extra power punch of sun protection, all right? You wanna look good, you, want, you don't wanna age, you need to be using sunscreen every day, and I recommend you having some type of vitamin C serum in your um, regimen of sorts. Um, this, this one actually has sold out. It won't be back until June, but if you want to know more information on that, I can add you to, I can send you more info on that. So basically vitamin C helps protect you against sun damage. Um, and it's always, but the, the idea is that you use it in combination with sunscreen daily. So it's vitamin C, which is an antioxidant. So it's going to help you, um, you know, it's going to reduce the damage of different free radicals that are going to inflict on your body. So I'll leave you with this. If you have questions, please chat or, you know, just message me, um, comment below. But these are my three things for you to think about. One, I would love for you guys to join my Beautifully Bliss Facebook group. That's where I share safer tips just like this. I do tutorials, I do giveaways just like Kayla. I share about just the different promotions. I educate, I show just fun stuff. Um, we have everything from skincare to makeup to, um, to bath and body, to kids, to babies, anything everywhere, anything and everything. The other thing is I would encourage you if you're really interested on the topic of sunscreen, I would go to the Environmental Working Group um, website and they have a guide to sunscreen that you can pull a lot of information there. And then finally is I would get on your phone and I would download the app it's called the EWG Healthy Living app, and you can actually scan barcodes at Target or wherever and see what it rates based off of several different indicators. Um, and it's also nice that you can look up different products that you're currently using and see how they rate. It gives you a number between one and 10. So yes, thank you, Kayla, for um, sharing the website, and I will do some snapshots um, below as well. So. Um, I hope that was less than 10 minutes. I think I might have gone over just a tad, but um, if you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you. If you want, if you have a current sunscreen and you want me to just to look to see how it rates or wants to see, um, you know, if there's any harmful um, chemicals in it or, or um, ingredients, I'm happy to do that. Just post it below and I will let you guys go for now. Hopefully you found this helpful and I'd love to have you all in my group um, if you so to choose. So have a fantastic Friday and thank you Kayla for letting me spend a little bit of time in your group educating on safer sunscreen. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.